talk briefly about intervals as they relate to a single pitch. We're going to take a pitch here on the fifth fret of the sixth string. This is A. And we're going to look at intervals that are around it and in common chord shapes that you might already know and use, but maybe haven't thought of in an interval perspective. So here's A. Now if we need a minor second, we can't get it, we can get it with individual notes here. So a minor second is just a half step from the given root. If, if we can stretch out, here I'm playing five and one on string six and five. It's not very practical, but it has its place. If we want to play a major second, what I started with today, this is the 5th and 2nd fret, A to B, so a whole step. So on adjacent strings, there's a couple of ways they look, but same. If I put the A on, it's the same here, same distance. If I put the A on the... On the third and second string, they're only uh, two frets apart. If I put it on the first two strings, we're back to that reach shape. I'm going to go on to the major third. So this is fifth and fourth frets of the sixth and fifth strings. A and C sharp, a major third. Now if we get into compound intervals, if we take this third up an octave, now we have a tenth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So lurking within your major chord form, there's a tenth. Here's our third. The guitar is tuned in fourths as a reference. So here's a fourth straight across, A to D. 5 and 5 on string 6 and 5. We'll go to a perfect fifth. A and E. 5 and 7 on string 6 and 5. Now we could get A and E this way. Fifth fret of the 6th string and 2nd fret of the 4th string. A sixth looks very much like our third. Here's A and F sharp. One, two, three, four, five, six. F sharp's right there. You might know your major seven if you know a major seven voicing. There's that incomplete sound of wants to resolve home. A and G sharp. 5 and 6 on string 6 and 4. Here's our octave. Here's our ninth. A and B, 5 and 4. Here's our tenth again, A and C sharp, 5 and 6 on string 6 and 3. Our eleventh like our fourth, but moved up an octave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here's eleven. A twelfth. It's the interval of a fifth moved up an octave. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here's a thirteenth. You might have played this in your studies. So it's a sixth 
up an octave. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Here's the flatted seventh. It has its, remember where the natural seven was here. Now flat seven is adjacent sixth and fourth strings, fifth fret. There's the flat seven on the fifth and second strings, fifth and eighth fret. Our natural seven, or the major seven, up an octave, frets five and four on strings six and one. You can hear that we're getting two octaves above now, so A's on the outer E string, six and one, fifth fret. If I go here, Here's our flatted third or minor third. Remember previously it was here's frets five and three on string six and five. But now we've put it straight across from the root on the third string. Remember our major third was here, this offset position. Here's minor third, nine, root, major seven, flat seven, six, if you want, flat six, we could either go skipping strings, this is A and F, on the sixth and fourth strings, frets five and three, or just an extension of the, the fifth pushed out one. six, five, our flat five, like our major seven, is at this kind of cross. So frets five and six on strings six and five. Fourth, perfect interval, major third, minor third, A and C, major third was A and C sharp, minor third, major second, a and B on frets 5 and 2. A and B flat, a minor second, frets 5 and 1. On frets, uh, sorry, strings 6 and 5. So if we go through what makes up a normal major chord. Fifth, an octave, a major third, a fifth, and an octave. If we look at some of the intervals within it, here's a fifth, oh, that's A and E, here's E and A, it's a fourth, here's a sixth, E and C sharp, fret seven and six on strings five and three, here's an octave, E and E. Here's a fourth up an octave, it's an eleventh. What about from, from here? Third, fifth, octave. So A and C sharp, seven and six on strings four and three. A fifth, A and E, fret seven and five, and octave, A and A, seven and five on strings four and one. How about from here? Major third. Sorry, you know what? Minor third, sorry. I'm thinking this is the major third, but C sharp to E, minor third, my mistake. And sixth, C sharp to A. Ends up with a fourth here, E and E and A.
way up there. So I hope this opens a little door into intervals. If you have questions, please leave them below. If you can like, share, leave a comment, I always appreciate it. If you have ideas for future videos, please do let me know. I hope this finds you well and enjoying your music, and I wish you a very good day.